What's up challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo and this is GLG The Return, the series where I, uh, I play a little bit of Pokemon on Showdown, uh, usually after a brief hiatus that I've had from actually uploading to the channel. So obviously the GBA season ended and it was kind of serendipitous because it ended just at a period of time uh, in my life where I have literally no free time. Um, as many of you know, I'm a nurse and the state is here coming to my facility just to uh, make sure that everything's up to code. So of course that means that uh, most of us permanent nurses that are very familiar with our uh, with our wings get worked pretty much every single day and we work a lot of overtime just in case the state shows up they want to put their best foot forward. So I've been work I worked uh, seven days straight. I get one day off. I'm gonna work another six days straight and then we should be out of the review period. So I'm really hoping so because I'm getting kind of uh, tired. As you can see, I'm aging. I'm visibly aging, guys. I look like a year older just from, <laughs> just from this stressful event. Anyway, um, today I, I'm not playing really a gym leader team per se, but I really wanted to play test uh, some, uh, a, new, a couple of new Pokemon, and I wanted to have fun doing it. So obviously I'm not very high on the ladder right now, so I can still pull shenanigans like this. And I gotta be honest, I don't foresee myself trying to ladder up very time anytime soon um i laddered in season four i laddered in season five laddered in season five gen five gen four and uh, i don't really want to do it anymore um the meta is kind of stale to me and so i really like doing these fun teams and i hope you guys like them too today i am going to be showing you guys my hoopa unbound team uh it's really a play test team just for fun and there's a lot of we little tricks in there, I'll talk you through everything now. We've got Boundaries, the Hoopa Unbound, running a Choice Band Wall Breaker set. Do not sleep on the physical set. I know that um, a lot of people think that it's actually the more common set, just because Hyperspace Fury is so beast. But, I mean, you got to really prepare for Hoopa. It could be physical, it could be special. you got to make that decision. It's going to be banned, I'm pretty sure. Having played with it a little bit, um, I've actually, I actually really enjoy it. So... Uh, I'm running Hyperspace Fury, Zen Headbutt, Gunk Shot, and Trick, and Trick, and here's the big, the big show, guys. The fun I'm having today is that this is um, the makings of a Mono Trick team. It's uh, it's not a purely Mono Trick team, but let's let's keep showing you. Hype comes back. The choice specs Gengar, running Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast, and Trick. Now, I promised myself a long time ago I was never going to run Focus Blast ever. And you know what? I'm really considering changing it as we speak because I, uh, one of the games I played earlier, I missed two in a row, and it was just infuriating to me. It was the same that same match. I also missed a Willow Wisp, so that was kind of annoying. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I'm running the fast spec set, timid, just to get make sure that I'm not speeding anything else in the 110 tier. Uh, we're gonna go into Sudzy. I've been a really big fan of the Choice Specs Sudzy or Choice Scarf Sudzy recently, guys, and he's another tricker. Uh, Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, Will O Wisp, and Trick. Now, people sleep on Scarfed Will O Wisp from Rotom Washes, and they seem. I, I don't know what it is. I, I've. I guess most of the argument would come down to, well, after you pop a Willow, you're forced to switch. But that's true so often with almost any choice Pokemon. If you lock yourself into something, the person, if they predict that you're now choice, are going to figure that out and they're going to switch in a counter. You rarely stay in for more than a couple of turns with a choice Pokemon anyway. So I really don't see the issue here. And really fast Willows are incredibly useful, um, especially in OU where there's a lot of Pokemon playing with bulk and speed tiers and stuff like that. To get a Willow off on some on some of those major threats, um, it's really useful. So don't sleep on that. Also, it really helps against fellow Rotoms to play a, a little trick Willow shenanigans and then Volt Switch on them. So uh, this is my only Electric type coverage that I have on this entire team. Luckily, it's Stab. We're gonna move on. Um, we're gonna get, see Bay now. Originally, I just really love Mega Lopunny, and that's why I brought her. Um, originally, I, when I was trying to make an all switcheroo trick team i was thinking i might go klutz trick non mega low punny with an assault vest i really like that because uh, klutz of course allows you to use to not use your item thus assault vest isn't giving you uh the restriction against using moves like trick so you can easily trick an assault vest onto some really weird and interesting pokemon to stop them from being able to use uh, any sort of support moves so it's kind of interesting 
Um, but more than that, I really just wanted to use Mega Low Punny. I got Fake Out just because I really think Fake Out is very important. Um, not for wall breakers, but she's not my wall breaker. Um, Hoopa and Hype Man are going to be my wall breakers. Um, I got Drain Punch because I think I, again, as not a wall breaker, I don't need the raw power of High Jump Kick. I like Drain Punch trying to keep myself healthy. Return as the obligatory high powered stab. And Heal Bell. Guys, Heal Bell. I love that Low Punny gets Heal Bell, and I'm going to keep it on Mega Low Punny. Again, really fun team here. Uh, stats pretty standard. Jolly, just to get that max speed and uh, put the rest into attack. A little bit into uh, special defense there. Heatran DMC, the leftovers flash fire Heatran, running Lava Plume, Flash Cannon, Earth Power, and Stealth Rock. For a long time I was debating dropping Flash Cannon and putting Ancient Power on there. Um, just because Heatran's a really good switch in for Smog and Bird, and it's just in general it's nice to cover some of the Pokemon that are good switch ins for Heatran. Heatran. He just like lives and breathes people bringing uh, counters to him. And you know, eventually the reason I decided against running Ancient Power is because the Pokemon that was my sixth Pokemon for a long time was Azumarill, but I ended up changing it to El Luchador, the Mamoswine, who's running an Assault Vest, bulky Assault Vest Physical Sweeper set with Thick Fat, Ice Shard, Earthquake, Knock Off, and Rock Slide. Um, I could have run and at some point may change for funsies to make sure I have a more high-powered Ice Stab, but I like the power of Ice Shard and I like the coverage that this has. Rock is uh, a useful thing for my team. Part of the reason I made this switch also is because how many times I went up against teams that were weak to Ice, like really weak to Ice, I was like, man, that's just bad team building. Too bad I don't have any Ice on here. Okay, let's go. So El Luchador with the Assault Vest. Um, we'll see how this works. I haven't run Assault Vest at Lujarod before, but I'm really interested to see how it goes. We're going to go uh, look for a battle now. Uh, I think I'm in the mid-1200s right now. Again, I haven't really been doing all that much. Oh, this is a cool team. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, uh, probably a Bander. Um, probably Defensive. Uh, Life Orb. Either Assault Vest or a Belly Drum Set and a Scarfer. Is my prediction just looking at his team to keep it balanced? Looking at this, once I get, these two are both very weak to rock, and so I can use that to my advantage. Um, Mamoswine is not really a safe switch in to either of them, per se, but we'll see. Um, I think the best switch in option I have for them is, for both of them, is going to be Heatran. Uh, I'm going to lead with... I'm going to lead with Sudzy, because he doesn't have any ground types, so I can Volt Switch on anything. I can check and see whether or not that it's worth it to get a... Oh, a Zoomerill. Not bad. He'll probably go for a knockoff here, so I can probably get a, a Willow off on him. Uh, take a reduced damage knockoff, and then at that point I can trick and take his item from him, if I want to. So I'm going to go for the quick Willow. He's going to get burned, and he's going to go for the knockoff, knocking off my, uh, my phone is in the background. I can't throw it any farther away from me. It's not within reach. I'm blowing up on uh, on Skype. Sorry, guys. Will you stop it, Steve? Oh, my goodness. Um, so I could trick right now just to steal his item. And I might do that. I am. I'm going to trick. Oh, my God. Lantern, even better. I'm going to take his leftovers. I am not upset about that one little tiny bit. So the way he switched in, I'm pretty sure he thinks I was going to Volt Switch. So he's a Volt Absorber. Um, he, mm, heal Bell. I'm predicting he's going to go for Heal Bell here. Lantern is not that bulky. Um, it's not super safe to switch in if I think he's going for a Scald on El Luchador, but... Uh, oh my goodness, my phone in the background. El Luchador could really hurt this guy though, with an EQ. But he's got two flying types. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna reveal my hand too early. Let's go into. Let's go into Bay here. As he goes for the dazzling gleam. Interesting. What was he predicting me to switch into? Hype. Boundaries. We're gonna go for a fake out here. He's gonna stay in. Uh, I think probably predicting that. Trying to take it. Um, and now I'm going to go for... I, Drain Punch is an amazing move against these two here. 
Return being the exact opposite is not an amazing move against them. Return is only resisted... Wait, no. Return is resisted by three things. And Drain Punch is resisted by... One, two... Let's go for the Drain Punch here, just get a little bit of health back. He's going to stay in, and he's not going to take that all that well. What's he going to go for here? Scald trying to burn me. Uh, he doesn't get it, and even if he did, I have Heal Bell. So let's just keep Drain Punching. He's going to stay in and sack his Lantern. That wasn't a good move. Bay is up to full health, no burn. He had such an obvious switch there. Talonflame is going to come in. Um... That priority Brave Bird. I just got to, it's an obvious play, but I got to do the Heatran DMC. He goes for the Brave Bird here. Um, we see Leftovers on me, and we see nothing on him. Probably Banded. I'm predicting a switch here. Uh, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. We'll see what he's got. Yeah, he is going to switch out, and Terrakian comes in. And the likely move here for him is either a fighting type stab or an earthquake, both of which Gengar can... Will you stop it? The phone, guys. The phone. Will the phone stop it? I'm going to switch into Hype here. Now he's going to roar me out. And Sudzy comes in. That... I am not upset about. Now, Willow is a little too obvious here. I am no longer Choice Scarfed. I'm Leftovers now. Um, such a weird set. I'm not going to Willow just because with the Talon Flame here and the Rotom Heat here, uh, I could Volt Switch, but I don't think I need to. I'd rather just Hydro, because I can Volt Switch on the Azumarill anyway, and it's burned. So I'm, I am going to... Wow, that did so much damage. He's going to go for the Roar again. Bay comes in, and uh, now it's time to go for, yet again, another Drain Punch. Return would actually kill him. He's not going to switch into B-Sharp, but he might. Ooh, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, he's going to sack himself. Uh, B-Sharp's a... No, he's not going to switch into B-Sharp. Mega Low Punny's too good against him at full health. Um, he can't outspeed me unless he... Ooh, he wants that. He's going to go for the Willow. I'm going to go for the Return, then the Heal Bell. That does good damage as he goes for the Willow here. I think he's probably like rejoicing in his boots. But here I go for the Heal Bell. I love Heal Bell, Mega Low Buddy. Yes! Yes! Uh, let's see. He might go for the Willow again. That would be really interesting if he did. He's going to switch into Azumarill as I go for the Heal Bell here and cure myself. Now he's thinking to himself. I think, I mean, I'm not positive I know what he's thinking, but I think he just said, fuck. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I mean, like, maybe he didn't, but uh, let's go for the return here. He could go for the Aqua Jet. No, he's going to stay in. Not quite sack it. The Brick Break. That did nothing. Burned Brick Break from Azumarill? No thank you, sir. I wonder if that thing wasn't even... <laughs> Might have been like Thick Fat or something. Sap Sipper, not Thick Fat. We see the Berry trigger. Um, I mean, he's got to... He's got to go for the... For the Brave Bird here. He could go for like a Swords Dance. He could do that. I'm going to switch into Sudzy, just in case he tries to out-predict me here. Now he's going to go for the Brave Bird. Uh, get a little bit of recoil on him, and now I'm pretty safe to just go for a Volt Switch here. If he roosts, that's a next level play on his part. B-Sharp comes in as I get a nice little Volt Switch off, and I can go straight into Bay. Because I resist his Dark Stab. I don't resist... Uh, he clearly is going to carry a fighting type move, but he's not going to outspeed me if he wants to go for it. So it's probably... he's going to forfeit. Yeah, so I had that one in the bag. With the remaining Pokemon, Talonflame couldn't take anything out. The Rotom Heat was so close to dead at any point I could have killed it. I was going to fake out there, then go for probably a switch if he switched into Talonflame. Um, I had all six Pokemon. There wasn't a thing he could do. I'll take that victory. And we're going to look for one more, guys. That was a quick match. We're going to give you. Uh, we're going to give you one more. Okay. Okay, interesting. So, Superior. This guy's got a cool team. So, let's see. This is a very likely lead. This is also a possible lead. 
and this is a possible lead. Uh, the thought process for all of them is that he might want to go for a fake out just to get the Mega Evo off. Either of these could do rocks, this could protect in order to go for the uh, Toxic Orb. And for that reason, I think I want to go for Hoopa here. Hoopa can do a massive amount of work to Heatran. It can pop off. If he goes for a Protect here, it can get rid of it. So we're going to go for Hoopa Unbound here, hoping it's the Gliscor. It is the Gliscor. And now Hyperspace Fury, because it this move uh, breaks the effects of Protect. So let's see what he goes for here. He's going to go for the knockoff to get rid of my Choice Band. That's okay. Um, ah, actually, it's not. Shoot. Ah, oh, man. Because uh, I stole his Toxic Lord, but now he doesn't get it. So that's not bad, actually. <laughs> that happened, he says in chat. <laughs> what a turn of events. That was bizarre. That was truly, truly bizarre. Um, he could go for another knockoff. He could go for an Earthquake. Uh, I don't know why he would go for a Protect, but he could. He's probably going to go for an Earthquake. <laughs> he goes, I'm not sure who benefited more there. I'm going to say uh, a very good point. Let's, uh, wh where are we here, guys? I don't even know what to do. Uh, he might have Roost. He could have a weird sub shenanigans. Sudsy doesn't super... He could just go for another knockoff. I'm kind of low on health. And toxic. I don't want to get knocked off on anything. Bay is weirdly enough probably the best switch in, even though I bet he's rejoicing at that. I don't really want to get knocked off here, but I don't think I have a choice. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna switch into Rotom Wash here. Here comes the knockoff, I think. No, he does go for Earthquake. That benefits me a lot. Now, I could go for the Hydro here, but the Azumarill is very real. I'm actually going to go for the Willow, because the one thing I don't predict he'll do is Heatran. And he actually switches into Alyssa. Okay. So, luckily I get to keep my Choice Scarf for now. I'm not positive what I think he'll do here. Um, these guys can pack Surf. I don't think he'll go for Surf. Um... It's not safe to switch straight into Mamoswine. That's probably too dangerous a move on my part. You go for the Psy Shock here. Let's see what Heatran can do. Heatran, what do I need Heatran for? A, another Heatran switch in? Superior, probably. It's a good switch into Superior, Superior, but Hype is also not a bad switch into Superior. Let's go, um, it's not safe to go into Bay. We're gonna do, we're gonna do, yeah. We're gonna do Heatran DMC. He's gonna Calm Mind. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh no. Shoot. <laughs> Let's say, uh... You know, I have to let him call mine set up and have him take me down here. I have to do it, because El Luchador needs a safe switch in to Ice Shard him, so let's get Rocks up. He's going to go straight away for the Draco. It's not going to do all that much, and he's actually... That's, that was a mistake on his part. He should not have done that. That was a huge mistake on his part. He resists this. He's immune to that. Flash Cannon is my best bet. He's going to switch into Jeff, who... Uh, one of the only things that I could have neutrally hit him for. I get a crit there. Maybe mattered, maybe didn't. That crit, though... This match. So bizarre. I don't know how to spell bizarre. <laughs> so weird! <laughs> this, this, this is a really fun... I'm saving the replay for the lol factor. Love it. Love it. Here comes Heathcliff. Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one should. No and should. Nickname game on point this match. I like this person. I like this person a lot. Now, a um, couple of potential moves. This, this guy could go for the rocks here. There's not much I can do about that. He could go for an earth power of his own knowing that I don't have a, a balloon up and I can't go for it back. 
So knowing that, this will resist any, he's not going to go for a fire type attack, but it would resist it. This will resist earth power if he goes for it. He'd go for rocks and then I'm free to go for a hydro. Uh, that would give him a switch into superior, which isn't great. So what is my alternative here? If I think he's going for an earth power, hype man could come in and go for a focus blast. So let's do that. Hype man comes in as he goes for earth power, immune that-ish. And Focus Blast is probably my best bet here, because he resists everything else. Let's go for the Focus Blast. I miss it! Guys, I have not hit a Focus Blast. He misses Magna Storm. I don't know who's better off, but I'm going to go for Focus Blast again. I can't believe this miss factor. He's going to stay in and he's going to die from the Focus Blast. Wow. Maybe he didn't anticipate me to be Specs. Wow, that was a big that was a big mistake for him, I think. Uh, he's gonna go for the fake out here. Mega Low Punny does a lot to my team, and I'm really hoping it's not max speed. Because if it is, it's gonna come down to a speed tie between my low punny and his low punny. Uh, he's gonna go for the fake out here to get that free Mega Evo. He doesn't really even need to. I think he already outspeeds. Well, no, at max speed at the current set, he won't outspeed me without a, a fake out. So I might as well either get into the. There's no safe switch in here. There's nothing I can do here. Uh, I need to get. I could go Sudzy and go for the Choice Scarf Willow on him. Let's do that. I can take one attack. I can take a fake out from this guy. He goes straight for the Drain Punch. Big move on his part. Let's get the Choice Scarf Willow off here and hope I don't miss it. Uh, and I'm going to get the burn off. Good. As he goes for a power-up punch. Shoot. <sighs> things, are, uh, things are bad right now. Things are very bad. Luchador can come in and Ice Shard. He's burned still, so it's not the end of the world in this current situation. Bay can come in and get a fake out off to rack up a little more burn damage, but I don't want to just keep letting him power up punch. I actually have a very big fighting weakness, I'm realizing. Very big fighting weakness, which he's taking advantage of beautifully. Let's go into hype here. Uh, he goes for another power up punch, which I resist luckily. Uh, I'm not going to resist a normal type stab, and his attack is back to standard at this point. Now... I think Focus Blast is probably my best bet here. I could go for the Sludge Bomb just for safety. Because I resist his Fighting Stab. It's not going to be super effective. He doesn't have any Steel types remaining. Let's go for the Sludge Bomb. He's going for an Ice Punch. That's not bad either. And I'm going to take him out with the Sludge Bomb. Thank goodness. Okay. Okay. That was a very dangerous Pokemon. Very dangerous for me. Lissa comes in, could be speed tie with me, but it's a calm mindset. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Uh, I'd like to save this to Shadow Ball it later. If I predict the calm mind, Heechan might be the best bet regardless. So I can just flash cannon it and let it die to burn. He might have Roost though. But if that's the case, then Heechan has to get sacked. No, Heechan does not have to get sacked here, guys. That's not what's happening. A Luchador can come in and Ice Shard him. Sudzy can come in and trick him. The Choice Scarf. Okay. He's going to go straight away for the Psy Shock. Sudzy's going to go down. That's okay with me. That's A-O-M-F-N-K. I'm going to go into the Luchador. Am I? No, Boundaries. Psyshock, we've seen Draco, he's gonna outspeed me. Then we have to go to Luchador, we have to force a switch here into Azumarill, and then play based on that, I think. No, let's go. I killed the thing, it's not a 6-0. Actually, it's weird, it's actually a lot closer than he thinks it is. Let's take this fake out here. Get him a little bit weaker with that burn. And, um... There's no way you can outspeed me. 
Um, Drain Punch is resisted by one of the mons, so let's just go for a return here. He's going to sack Lissa off, and Bay pulls it through. Thank you, Bay. Okay. Whew. Sydney. Best option here. Um, he cannot speed me unless he's scarfed. He could be scarfed. Heatran is um, a safe enough switch in, but I'd rather just get some pre-damage on this guy. So we're going to go for the return here. Uh, it doesn't kill him. One Leaf Storm pops off. Doesn't quite get the kill on me. And uh, we see the um, we see the Life Orb. So this is good. He'll die next turn. Regardless. GG. Uh, let's just go for the return here. No shenanigans there. We've got an Aqua Jet coming our way. As other white girls say, I can't even. What do I want to do here? What do I do, guys? Uh, we're going to just go for a return. Aqua Jet is going to take me out. That's okay. And then we're going to go into... Oh my god, if I miss a gunk shot, though... I'm going to be P-I-S-D. P-I-S-D. Go for the gunk shot. Let's try and land it. Let's... I do land it and Arya goes down. So that was a fun game. That was a fun game. GG, buddy. GG, buddy. So that was good. Uh, we'll leave the battle at that, or we'll leave this video at that. Two battles. Um, that was a lot of fun. This is a really fun team, guys. Uh, it's... It's weird to try and get around that Mega Low Bunny. Actually, I'm realizing, looking back at it, was a huge problem. I really do have a lot of um, a lot of fighting type weaknesses. If you take away my my immunities to that situation, but I'm still really enjoying this team. Maybe I'll do some weird thing where I switch out one of the Pokemon every uh, every episode or something. I'm not sure, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna be recording a couple of these to give you guys some footage over the course of the next week while I'm back at work. As always, my name is Jim Lutergeo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.